Hello, this is Hao. Do you know about the Bandai version of Yu-Gi-Oh? Today's Yu-Gi-Oh cards are made by a company called Konami, but before that, a company called Bandai had commercialized Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The Yu-Gi-Oh anime is currently produced by a TV station called TV Tokyo, but before that it was made into an anime by a company called Toei, and Bandai's version of the card appeared when the Toe version of the anime started broadcasting. Bandai's version of the card was only sold for two years, 1998 and 1999, and it was only sold in Japan. Moreover, it was not sold in packs, but in vending machines. The Bandai version was released in vending machines in three parts, from the first series to the third series. There are 123 types of cards in total including the five promo cards. In this video, we will introduce a complete binder of the first series of Bandai version cards. Let's take a look at the cards. First of all, there are eight character cards. Character cards are cards that can be used as monster cards in duels. It is a card that has no attack power or defense power, but instead has a special effect. This is a special card that does not exist in the Konami version. Bandai's version of Kaiba has green hair. The impression is quite different. Do you know this character? The character Miho is a friend of Tea Gardener. She only appears in one episode in the original manga, but in the Toe version of the anime, she plays an active role as a main character. Let's go to the next page. Even in the Bandai version, many famous monsters that represent Yu-Gi-Oh are turned into cards, and there are many famous monsters on this page. First of all, blue eyes and red eyes. These two pieces are super rare. Both have different illustrations from the Konami version, but this illustration of red eyes is pretty cool. Gaia the Fierce Knight is a rare card and only the card name is gold colored. The illustrations are close to the Konami version. This illustration of Gaia the Dragon Champion is pretty cool. In the Bandai version, it is a normal monster, not a fusion monster. The Dark Magician has the same illustration as when he first appeared in the original manga. It's different from the Konami version, but it's also cool. Let's go to the next page. Harpy Lady is called Harpy Lady 1 in the Bandai version, and Harpy Lady 2 and 3 also appear in different series. Summon Skull's illustration is completely different from the Konami version. The Bandai version has a much more sinister illustration than the Konami version. Dragon Capture Jar is a trap card in the Konami version, but it appears as an effect monster in the Bandai version. Judge Man's entire body is depicted in the Bandai version. You can see that he has a club in both hands. Let's go to the next page. Baby Dragon has an attack power of 2000. He's so strong you can't believe he's a baby. Saggy the Dark Clown's defense power has also been strengthened to 2200. The card stats are completely different between the Bandai and Konami versions. Mystical Elf also has green hair. I guess the producer of the Bandai version of the card likes green hair. Let's go to the last page. Bandai's first series includes all Exodia parts. In the old Konami version, it was very difficult to get parts for Exodia, so it's nice to have all the packs in one series. Today we introduced the complete binder of the first series of Bandai's Yu-Gi-Oh! It has a different charm than the Konami version, and I had a lot of fun collecting it. I have also completed the Bandai version of the second and third series, so I would like to introduce them in the future. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to the channel. See you again, goodbye.